A huge thanks to my Patreon supporters for making this episode possible. Good morning fellow mathematicians, welcome to 2021. I'm wishing all of you a happy new year. You already saw probably my community post which got way over 60,000 votes, which I find to be kind of ridiculous. I don't know why it got so many votes, but yeah, I insulted all of you at the start of the new year, so I hope you liked it. <laughs> and today I would just like to talk about the year 2020, wrap it up a tiny little bit and tell you all what I'm going to do in 2021 with regards to my main channel and also my second channel, Flamingless 2. If you're not yet subscribed to Flamingless 2, then make sure to subscribe to it. You can find a pinned comment down there in the description. Oh, uh, no, you, you can find a pinned comment down there in the comment section and <laughs> also the channel link down there in the description. So at first I would like to talk a bit about 2020 and what we achieved as a community here on this channel and the like and what happened like in 2020 and all of this stuff. So at first let us start with the end of the year. I would like to thank everyone who watched my advent calendar. It, it became a huge success because of the shorts and also um, yeah, all the other stuff that happened, like all the skit videos, etc. So it was a huge success on my side and it helped me gain only in December nearly 40,000 subs. So that was absolutely huge and I think that's absolutely amazing. And to everyone who's new here on this channel, hello, you probably came here from the shitty shorts I uploaded a while back. Other than that, what else happened in December? Well, obviously the charity event. Um, this time it was a story often told and it was a singing event. And at first I would like to express my gratitude for each and every one who was kind enough to buy the song and to direct donate it to charity. At the moment we are at approximately $2,300 that we raised for charity. So that's already a pretty huge amount. So thanks to everyone who was kind enough to donate something towards charity. And also since we um, got the $1,000 threshold, we are going to donate um, one third basically of the money to a local enemy shelter in my um, hometown Plown. I was really glad overall how the charity event turned out. Just one little side note, um, I was still kind of sad and disappointed about the engagement of the participants. So some of the participants actually shared the video around meaningfully, meaning in their YouTube community, but most of the people who actually participated really didn't care about sharing the video and this would have been the easiest way to actually donate money for charity to get a lot of views on the video. This sadly didn't happen and the charity event kind of got by really unappreciated, so um, I'm pretty sad about that. Just want to get this um, off my mind, but other than that, thanks to everyone who was kind enough to watch the video overall. Yeah, I I hope that it's still going to gain some views, but other than that, I'm, I'm kind of disappointed about the, the uh, performance of the video, that it got by a bit unappreciated. and. Yeah, because of that I'm probably not going to do some collaborative event anymore on Christmas. I don't know, it's, it's just not worth my time. It, it takes so many tens to hundreds of man hours to do this stuff and it is just not worth it. it uh, even the second Avengers got by so unappreciated and I don't want to do this anymore. It, it just takes so much of my time off of me and not gonna do this anymore. Thanks to everyone who watched the Christmas specials, but that's probably over from this point onwards. Next up, speaking of um, gaining a lot of subs in December, after two years I finally overtook Andrew Dodson. So basement boy, I got more subs than you. Oh, this is amazing, thanks to everyone. No, um, this is just a friendly competition be between Andrew, myself and John. We are doing a race to 1 million subs and whoever gets there first um, will be freed out of the basement. Um, so yeah, that's cool. Thanks to everyone who subscribed. Overall, in 2020, I have my statistics here. We, we gained over 100,000 subs, which I find to be really cool. Other than that, um, nearly 70 million views, which is kind of ridiculous in my opinion. And yeah, pretty good engagement here on this channel. And I hope this trend is going to continue for 2021 and 2022, etc. So for the next few years onwards. And overall, at this point, um, also considering the second channel, Flammy2, and also the trivia channel, we have over 200,000 subs after 2020 was over, okay? 200,000 collective subs on all three channels, which I find to be really cool. So once again, thanks to each and every subscriber I got. Um, yeah, this is already a huge milestone for me. And I'm still close to being at the 
<laughs> so guys, we did it. <laughs> Quarter of a million subscribers threshold. So I gotta reach that in 2021. So yeah, <laughs> we, we gotta reach the pyrocynical um, achievement, basically. I wanna do this specially on my channel, it's going to be amazing. Other than that, what happened in 2020? Well, I think the biggest thing that happened was the pandemic and the, the, the fact that I started teaching at a private school. Um, and it's kind of weird teaching during a pandemic. It's, it's, it's kind of weird teaching there at the moment. And, and we got like re remote teaching going on and now everything got worse in Germany and we don't know how it's going to continue into 2021. Uh, and I'm just going to see how this turns out. Uh, I think I need to do some more re remote teaching in January and then we are going to see how all of this pans out over time. So yeah, um, I'm going to keep you updated on that. And it has nearly been one year since I stopped being at my university, since I graduated in my Masters of Education. And yeah, um, time went by extremely quickly because I have so much stuff to do. YouTube channel, private tutoring, nearly full-time job at my, at my private school, also STEM merge and the like. And yeah, it has been quite an eventful year to me. Um, but I for myself wasn't really affected by Corona, so I didn't notice too much of that, which I'm really glad I wasn't <laughs> involved too much at all. Speaking of STEM merge, um, thanks to everyone who made STEM merge also pretty successful for Zack Star 69 and myself in, in 2020. And I hope it's going to um, keep its pace up also in 2021. So thanks to everyone who purchased something, who supported our channels that way. Um, just as a little side information, because we are getting many messages in less time, um, stuff not being delivered on time, etc. We are very sorry for that. We are still dependent on drop shipping right now. And as you might have noticed during Corona, um, all the online shopping really picked up a huge pace in the last time. So online shopping is bigger than ever before and we are affected by that too. And our manufacturers actually um, have a lot of stuff to do in the last time, especially during Christmas. And it's really hard for them to keep up everything and thus it's also hard for us to, to keep up the delivering to you guys on time. So we are we are very sorry for um, packages that got lost and the like. So we can really control what is going on with the parcels after they actually get sent out by our manufacturer. So yeah, um, we are very sorry for each and every delay that you guys got. And yeah, if something doesn't arrive, please shoot us a message. And this also holds for our clocks. Due to Corona and all the stuff, we are having a huge delay in the production of the clocks. So to each and every one who purchased a clock at some point, please just be sure that we are going to deliver it to you. I hope at the end of January latest you are going to receive the clocks. If this isn't the case, we can um, give you a partial refund or something, I don't know. But yeah, we are actually a bit annoyed by the whole situation and yeah, we are very sorry for everyone who hasn't received their clocks yet. So I just want to get this off my mind, but I hope we can um, improve our performance in 2021. And one of the biggest things that happened in 2020, obviously, was um, me being ripped off my channel. <laughs> in, I think it was February, um, my, my channel got social engineered. You could say, I don't like the word hacked, it got cracked wide open. Um, and yeah, thanks to everyone who, who kind of spread awareness and, and helped me get my channel back. This was really something really huge for me. A, a world broke for me, broke completely down and I'm just glad that I got my channel back and that it actually took up pace again now in December and, and I'm so freaking glad for that. Um, my livelihood was on the line basically and you guys were some of the reasons why I got the channel back in such a short amount of time. So thank you very much and thanks to everyone who didn't leave the channel because of those weird re-uploads the hackers did. That was kind of weird. And the last thing that happened in 2020 is that the amount of sponsors picked up um, towards the end of the year. I'm kind of sorry about that, but December, November, October are the time when Christmas is about to start New Year's and they want to sell something and I gave them a big platform 
to sell something during the advent calendar. This just had to do with the fact that I was uploading so many videos. I thought it was okay to have a lot of sponsors. So to everyone who's annoyed out there that I got sponsors. I mean, it's, it's 2020. YouTubers are living from their sponsorships. And please deal with it, uh, just as a little side note. I can't do anything about it. I would love to kind of transport the sponsorships over the year more, um, more homogeneous. Okay, so, so nicely distributed over the whole year, but this just isn't the case. So most of the time you're going to get a lot of sponsorships during December and I'm very sorry for that, but please feel free to skip the sponsorships if you're not interested in that, just as a little side note. Um, just something I want to say. And now, let us talk about 2021. There's actually not much I want to do, just regular stuff. I'm going to get back to my regular uploading schedule starting next week, meaning new videos on Flemmy 2. We are going to continue with the quadratic formula playlist, or with, with the quadratic playlist, with the quadratics playlist, not the quadratic formula, this is just going to be a subset of the whole playlist that is going to come out. And other than that, regular stuff on Flemble Maths here too. Um, I'm going to focus on creating a bit more skits, a few more collaborations, also some ASMRs because people kind of enjoy those, etc, etc. So you're going to see a lot of regular content, but the biggest change for me is going to be that I'm also going to focus a bit on shorts. I'm going to implement some more shorts here on this channel, be it skit shorts like the How Real Men series or just um, seriously meant shorts like like calculation, I don't know, math speed run, etc. So um, yeah, I want to use this opportunity because the shorts are literally a gold mine here on YouTube and I need to use that pace right now to help the channel grow. Yeah, this is um, everything that's basically behind this idea. So I hope you're not going to get annoyed by the shorts in, in some way. Um, I just think it's a good opportunity to draw some new subscribers to this channel and yeah, I gotta use that opportunity, definitely. So yeah. Um, also more physics here on this channel, I started picking up the pace with all the physics videos um, in the last few months. So yeah, more physics here on this channel and other than that, that's basically it. I hope you did enjoy this video, just a little informative video, closing off 2020 and starting off with 2021. I'm now going to eat my pizza that is going to be delivered soon and I thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, recommend channel if you like. If you want to support channel a bit more, you can go over to Stim or buy those t-shirts I create or support channel on Patreon. And up until the next video, I wish you guys a flamber day. Thanks to each and everyone who supported me during 2020 and during the time where I got hacked. And yeah, just thank you very much for sticking with the channel in this frame of time. Have a good one. Ciao. <laughs> Have fun today.